Hey, what's up guys? My name is Moda and welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel. Today's video, we're going to talk about this insane new Bitcoin ASIC coming from Bitmain. This thing is 100% official. It's an 860 terahash hydro unit. Yes, that is for a single unit getting ever so close to that single petahash. It is insane we're going to talk about it we'll look at price profitability all that good stuff and more than anything just talk about like the ramifications of this thing like what is the state of bitcoin mining is this potentially the last cycle where us as pleb miners can really mine this thing profitably right so we're going to talk about the current state and the current outlook and just everything going on with just bitcoin mining in general from the perspective of a pleb miner okay so if that sounds good, guys, stay tuned. Let's get right to this thing. So, man, it's been a crazy week for me, kind of messing up my <laughs> recording schedule. We got this hurricane coming right at us. So, so I did a video last night, which is a little weird. So I'm trying to move everything up a little bit. So regardless, though, let's get on topic here. So this is a unit that they actually debuted on a random Twitter post a few weeks ago, right? And I'd kind of been waiting for them to officially release, you know, PR material, a formal tweet about it. Nothing ever came. So very weird. It is official. They have actually talked about it at one of the conferences. But again, it's kind of weird that they haven't made a bigger deal about this thing because it's insanely impressive. But it could have to do because who it's really intended for and it's not for us pled miners this is definitely 100 percent an industrial large-scale unit okay so this is a three-phase unit this is a hydro unit and it's 11,180 watts per freaking machine okay 860 terahash we look at the current revenue, it's going to bring in about 40 bucks a day. And again, I'm putting in an, an insane kilowatt hour just because, again, this is going to be an industrial use case, right? So people are worth four cents and under here. And that case, it's making damn near 30 bucks a day, only $10 a day in electric. And this is an insane unit and it's kind of a scary thing, right? If you are a pleb miner and a home miner, it's been a very rocky like six to eight months right so it's already been sketchy because of the having which we already kind of knew right we did our predictions we ran our numbers and for any guys who were interested that's why i was harping to if you're interested in getting one do it way before the having mine up to the having and then be prepared to shut off for quite a while okay i know a lot of you guys were in the mindset of trying to wait until after the having and trying to get a good deal but realistically, the name of the game was getting the yields prior to the halving because it's been extremely rough since then because the hash rate has stayed up pretty significantly. And it's because, again, a lot of the industrial ASIC mining here. The other big factor is just the amount of hardware that has came out just this past year alone, not even year. It's even been less than a year and there's been three new units, right? It got started with the S21 and then not too long after literally before even a lot of people's pre-orders came out the s21 pro which pissed a lot of people off and then the s21 xp okay it's been insane and then we had the other hydro unit the xp hydro when that guy got announced and this guy's a 473 terahash beast and now this guy doubling that capacity and in a different form factor in a 3u style form factor which is insane for density that's where this thing is getting crazy is just the amount of hardware coming online where it's just like what the heck is going on <laughs> this is definitely unprecedented is definitely something new it's never been this bad in previous cycles even going back to like the previous hash rate for example if you go back to the peak in november 2021 when everybody and their grandma was plugged in with whatever units they had old s9s everything when everything was profitable the overall difficulty was at 167 okay it's currently at 670 exahash it is 4x since then and the price is lower than what it was back then okay so it is extremely difficult to mine bitcoin arguably the most difficult it's ever been 
right? And it's not looking too great beyond this cycle. So that doesn't mean, you know, people who buy any of these S19K Pros and any of these other units, you're going to make out this cycle. Is it going to be anything extreme? Unfortunately, because of this hash rate increase, which is only going to go up, right? This is the crazy part that this is the current, the hash rate and difficulty currently, and that's with a lot of people unplugged, a lot of units on low power mode, and with a lot of units still coming out. Okay, so expect that once, yes, the price will continue to hopefully appreciate. This difficulty and hash rate is also going to increase significantly. Okay, and it's because of new hardware like this, which is going to quickly phase out anything below an S19K Pro. So any of the regular S19Js and arguably even this guy, right? I mean, when things pick up, you're going to want to be overclocked. You're going to be hustling. You're going to be grinding and try to maximize. Like for me, if I were, had a BTC ASIC, I would 100% be dumping all of the ASICs sometime this cycle, right? Obviously mining as much as you can, dumping sometime just beyond the cycle from the perspective of a pleb miner is just not looking too great, right? We're seeing the future. The future is already industrial ASIC farms, which has been a thing. Countries mining, which has also been a thing. People expanding into regions with like sub two cent kilowatt hour freaking power rate. Like it's insane, the competition, right? And it's being more and more and more clear that this is probably the last cycle where you can mine as a pleb miner with these types of ASICs and be somewhat profitable unless something drastically changes, right? But currently, because of things like this, it's just kind of getting worse and worse, right? And it's just the, the, again, the key thing here is the density. Like as far as chips and such go, it's the same chips as S21 XP. Price per terahash is also very comparable actually because if these guys are coming in about 6K a piece, if you do three of these, it brings you about to 810, which is slightly under the 860, but overall, essentially the same, so it scales there. The dangerous thing here though is the density aspect. These hydro units, get rid of one huge burden and that's cooling the damn things right cooling them and then just the size limitation because of that this changes the game completely and this has been the experimentation between not just them also we've seen it with what's minor that this is definitely the future we've seen it not just this previous like mining disrupt but even the previous one that was the beginning right we saw the the beginning of all these massive scale containers which have just been getting more and more impressive and now the hardware to keep up with it. Okay, in the case of like this guy, for example, it's we saw the showcase at Mining Disrupt. We saw one of these like giga containers, which are set up for it. I mean, this these I believe are two U slots. So keep in mind that this guy is a little bit larger, but you can kind of see the scale, like how easy it is to like put these things in at scale in containers and even going into like the actual containers themselves, which again, they had one of these which is are extremely impressive, these freaking things. The quality is amazing, but you can kind of see the density aspect in comparison to the previous iterations. And even this is one of the other, their typical hydro units. But again, this 3U style is just even more density, right? It's insane and it's scary to think about how many you could fit even in just this capacity or people retrofitting a data center because again, it's going to be on server racks like it's it's crazy it gets rid of a huge huge limitation and the huge limiting factor and again the scary part here is just density alone i mean factor in each unit is damn near pet a hash okay it's just it's like mind-blowing okay and that's a huge huge thing you can kind of see here shout out to arc bitcoin mining container they do have a little clip of this thing so these things are out in the wild it's just insane and you can kind of see here just exactly what we're talking about where you can see some of the units you can see the density like how many of these things they can fit per freaking rack it's insane guys it's mind-blowing what the scale is now the amount of money involved like it's ever more concerning as a pleb miner okay and it's one thing to think well you know maybe they're not going to sell that many that ain't the case either, right? Part of their press release, which they didn't really announce, but they did a huge ceremony with HUD-8. It's insane. 
It is just insane. And Hyundai plans to deploy this model in Q2 2025 through a 15 exahash a second hosting deployment with potential transition to self mining through purchase option. 15 exahash worth of ASICs. Okay, that's how many they sold here. Insane. Insane, right? Just even breaking it down, for example, that's 15 million terahash. If we were to break it down, 15 million terahash divided by the 860 per unit, this is how many they sold. Obviously, you're going to round up, it'd be 442. 17,000 units, okay, were sold in one deal. This is just HUD 8. This is not including whatever other deals they make, whatever else is going on, however many other units they sell. Insane, guys. Insane. And as far as the valuation of that, um, 17442 multiplied by 20000 which is the cost of each unit, that's how much money was spent on this deal. That's what you're competing against, right? So that's why, for me, the message has been clear. In my opinion, at least, again, unless something drastically changes as far as, like, from the pleb miner, as far as trying to mine profitably. Obviously, if your goal is just to support the network or to earn BTC without having to deal with KYC through an exchange, obviously, that's still going to be viable to some capacity. But as far as doing it, like how I'm doing it in order to earn revenue, run this kind of as a small little at home, like hobby business type deal. It's just not appealing at all, right? Even as far as this cycle goes, that's a big reason that I never did jump in. It was on the radar, but it's like these consistent releases just kind of nailed it in the coffin for me, right? So for any guys who are, like if I personally had one, uh, this would 100% be the last cycle for it. I would 100% be selling all the hardware sometime during this bull market. Okay, does that mean as soon as the little peak comes, you're going to sell? No, you're going to be mining and hodling as much as you can to try to make take advantage as much as you can of this opportunity here. But as far as beyond this cycle, mining BTC directly with BTC ASICs, not going to be my jam, right? It's already kind of not been just because of that. More on the degen side, which is why the altcoin ASICs is war of my eyes have been. And even that is going to get to a point, right? Some of the current ones have been doing okay but now again a lot of the attention because of things like this for the hobbyist it's going to turn into script mining and what do you think is going to happen with script mining now the hash rate is also going to be ballooning so we'll see to what extent guys this is just insane and again this is just the industrial revolution with bitcoin mining this is what it's turning into and as far as being from the perspective of pleb miner doing it like kind of somewhat at scale it's not really going to be a doable thing if you want to support the network this is where things like the bid axes the nerd axes those types of things those can come into play but obviously those aren't going to make any money it's more of a supporting the network kind of solo mining kind of thing just that kind of deal but as far as like running it as a business from the pleb perspective with a higher kilowatt hour not appealing at all Okay, so just wanted to give you guys that update. I know it's been kind of a rough time, but hopefully things start turning around here pretty soon. But if this is any indication of the future, uh, it's not looking too great beyond this cycle. Hopefully this cycle, though, does treat us extremely well. A lot of things going on that can potentially make this one of the better ones. And maybe we don't have this uh, the huge downtrend that we've had in the past because of all this in institutional interest, not just from the ETFs. But even from these mining farms perspective, right, it's a lot of things going to be changing here. We'll see how this cycle reacts. But again, always try to be forward thinking, especially if you're considering buying hardware now, especially now at the beginning of this thing. These are things you want to factor in, things you want to consider if you're considering any BTC ASICs. Okay? But it just crazy, crazy unit, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is this kind of the... The nail in the coffin for any guys who are thinking about it, any guys who are currently, is this going to be it for you? Like, how do you, how are you guys viewing the market beyond this cycle? Let me know for any guys who do have BTC A6. Please comment, like, and subscribe, guys. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I am out.